Leah has learned where our journey leads. As Madan's forces will strike from the depths of Ariat Crater. That leaves the soldiers of Bastion's Keep to bear the brunt of his attack. I must ensure that they are victorious. The Keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered, fleeing before Asmodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the Keep fall, Asmodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. I will not let that happen. Light the signal fires, and show these soldiers that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. Go, you are needed below. A few thousand of your years ago on a distant battlefield, I stood over Asmodan, sword raised to deliver the death blow. You did not kill him? No. One of my brethren, Ardrion, called for help. A distraction? Yes. And now Asmodan threatens all I hold dear once again. It will not be the same. Not with our forces united. I see that. I wish my angelic brethren felt the same. What is most different about being mortal? I will die, of course. That is the way of all things. But that is the difference. When you are mortal, every moment is precious. Everything matters. It is exhilarating. I knew Zoltan Kuhl was special from the moment I met him. He had a keen mind. During the hunt for the three, he was the bearer of the Soul Stones, and must have studied them intently. Though it is an aberration, the Black Soul Stone is a testament to his genius. The Black Soul Stone was created to be an improvement over the original three. They were crafted to contain single demons, but Kool intended his to hold many. But the Black Soul Stone is flawed and cannot contain that many demons for long. We must capture Asmodan within it and shatter it, lest all these evils be reborn. Of the many things I find intriguing about humans, the greatest is their endless thirst for knowledge. Angels believe that everything there is to know is written in the scroll of fate. Therefore, curiosity is not a common angelic trait. Ironically, my suspicions have been confirmed. Angels do not, in fact, know everything. Seeing the world through mortal eyes has given me much to ponder. The Black Soul Stone's getting hotter, straining against me. They're whispering to me from inside. The demons within seek escape. Only your power can keep it from splitting apart, my daughter. It's a heavy burden, but the fate of the world lies in your hands. Yes, Leah can handle this, although it will be very hard on her. How do you fare? It's getting more difficult, but it's nothing I can't handle. The demons war and rage to escape their imprisonment. Their fury will only increase over time. Leah is very brave, but we'd best hurry before her strength fails. Of course. Do not worry, Leah. We will be swift. Our task is nearly complete. We need only slay Asmodan. Only fools celebrate victory before the battle's begun. Along with Belial, Asmodan has ruled the ravening hordes of the Burning Hells for over three centuries. His cunning is beyond imagining. I am yet to be impressed.
We reached Bastion's Keep, but holding the Black Soul Stone together takes up all of my time now. Sometimes I think of the wounded soldiers and their families outside, but then my concentration fails and the spells weaken. I must stay focused and trust my friend to save the Keep and its people. While examining Jondar's journal further, I found a torn page hidden within the binding. I believe that it is from one of the tomes I seek. He has written notes in the border as well. Perhaps by studying them, I will learn where the tome is. A fine plan. What else? It seems strange that Jondar would keep a page hidden. It is though it is the proof of a crime. I've already found holes in my order's honor. What if there are more? It's time I knew the truth about your brother. We used to be a team. I'd tip him off to some of the Thieves' Guild's hits. He'd bring in the guards and play it off like it was a lucky catch. But one time he showed up too early. When you robbed the Merchants' Guild Bank? None other. Some of the guards became suspicious. They thought he was involved. And he's been rotting in a cell in Kingsport ever since. I... Well, I managed to escape. You feel guilty? I don't know what I feel anymore. Death may be upon us Cooking all. Cooking and serving gruel ain't glorious, but these men can't fight and die on empty stomachs. Someone's got to light those signal fires. <clears throat> it's not me. Got a new hole. There are just too many demons out there. Could you do something about that? We have to hold. Moving down to quarter strength. to go from a place so hot to a place so cold. The change isn't good for my old bones. You can leave at any time. And what's all this noise? It's as though we're right in the middle of a battle. A great battle, even. I know, isn't it? What is on your mind, Shen? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, memories are useless, aren't they? You can't eat them or sell them for food. I'm glad that I'm starting to lose them. Oh, I was just remembering a time when I trapped the jewel to Scovos. A long story. But let's just say that between the sea monsters and poison arrows, it managed to slip away again. The tragic story, then? Oh, it was. But when the theater's ceiling collapsed, I fell right into the lap of my soon-to-be seventh wife. <gasps> she managed to console me. Seven wives? Isn't that excessive? Oh, no, no, no. I've been married many more times than that. But never to more than two women at a time. <laughs> never let it be said that I'm greedy. A carrot. My people have been lost. Scattered to the winds, but I will survive as long as you buy some. Day 9. Young Commander Calderos believes that the demonic scourge will flee. You heard the angel's command. Let the call sound forth. Bastion's keep shall not fall. Day 9. Young Commander Calderos believes that the demonic scourge will flee before a bloody show of righteous force. He intends to lead a charge from our fortifications tomorrow. Calderos can commit suicide by stupidity if he wants, but I'll be damned if I send my lads with him. Demon troopers form the meat of the armies of hell. 
Their masters use them roughly, sending them into the vanguard for most battles. For their part, the troopers are easily excited by opportunities to exhibit their great talent for violence. In fact, the troopers frequently attack each other when they are left idle. These soldiers look barely old enough to be away from their mothers. They are not prepared for the evil that seeks to consume this keep. It takes years of training to become a worthy soldier. I couldn't agree with you more. That's why it's a good thing you're here. I cannot defend the keep alone. Oh, I don't know about that. My visions are filled with demons dying violently at your hands. Let's just say there is a lot of blood. From the burning desert to the freezing north. You don't make it easy on us, do you? Nothing is easy. At least there's a lot of work to be done here. These men fight with blunted swords and dented armor. It's good to help. What will you do when this battle is ended? That is a question for another day. It's never too early. I will return to the priests of Rathma and seek their wisdom. A noble goal. I just want a quiet town in the country where I can work and live a life of peace. Signal fire. We must light the rest, but the demons swarm around them. Look out! That is not possible. Require a corpse for that. of their great luminescent wings to outmaneuver the demon host and assail its commander. Frustrated by his near defeat, Asmodan began breeding winged demons capable of tearing the angels asunder.
pal. Those bastards didn't stand a chance. going to die! seen the fires you've lit. Fear has no more hold on us. The catapults could break Asmodan's lines, but we can't raise them from their births while demons swarm over the walls. What became of your Vigera, Master? My sisters and I were gathered to summon a greater demon. They slew them all to the last man. But they uttered curses upon us with their dying breaths. My sisters and I... Well, this seems certain. The colossal Golgor is merely a colossal myth. In folklore, they are sons of an infamous demon who smashed half of hell in anger after the prime evils were defeated during the Dark Exile. Why, if I had a gold coin for each of these tales, I would be a wealthy man indeed. Thank the heavens you're here. We're down to four lads until reinforcements arrive. Trouble is, the lips stopped. We can't see what went wrong for all the muck down there. This sounds ominous. Oh, what now? All of the brutes from below, Captain. What do we do? Ivan, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you haven't been paying attention. Fight to your last breath, lads! The lift is moving again. Hold steady, lads. Reinforcements are on their way. Demons. Get ready, men. Us now. He is an exceptional ally. It is as it should be. Serve me! <laughs> 
Golden. The tormented stingers may resemble giant scorpions. They are molded from the bodies of human sacrifices. The Someone is hiding under there? This is no time to give in to cowardice. I'm sorry. I was afraid. You must find your strength, soldier. one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruits so they can raise this catapult. Over here. Excellent. Let's protect the recruits while they raise the catapult. firing on the battlefield. Bastion's keep just might hold. You've given us hope. Thank you.
scouts report that more of those wretched demon hell bearers will be here in a moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men. Bloody well alone. Everyone else has gone and died, but I'll be damned if I'll leave my post. Make yourself useful and spin that winch. Watch my temper. Do me a favor, and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, all right? I am returning to town. Now you tinkered with your paltry catapults. My demons breach the depths of your keep. Once they've claimed the Black Soul Stone for me, your entire world will burn. Asgodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun. Leave it to me. I bring word from the King of Westmarch. Has he agreed to send us reinforcements? My lord says he will send no living men to battle imaginary demon lords. Perhaps he'll believe when his kingdom is burnt to ashes around him. I am once again filled with the thrill of battle. It has been too long since I have raised my blade against the forces of the Burning Hells. I remember countless battles within the heart of Pandemonium, as my brethren and I risked everything to drive the demon spawn back to their hells. Light and darkness are essential to the balance. They must have been incredible battles. They were glorious. We waged our eternal conflict since the light first broke upon creation. But now, for the first time, it feels as if its end is in sight. You are a great warrior. No. I merely have a good commander. I do what I can. Imperius himself would have been hard-pressed to hold these walls as long as these soldiers have. This world owes them a great debt. Imperius? I do not know him. 
Imperius is the Archangel of Valor. It is he who commands the legions of the High Heavens. Which battle do you remember best? We thought we had lost everything at the Fifth Battle of the Diamond Gates. The Prime Evils and their legions crashed against the very entrance of Heaven itself. But one of my most trusted lieutenants, Iswal, turned them back. Still, the day might have been lost had the Demon Lords not fallen to fighting amongst themselves. So confident of their impending victory, they turned on each other over the spoils they had yet to win. I shudder to think what the Demon Lords might accomplish should they ever stop betraying one another. Such is the self-defeating nature of evil. Dug up some valuable new things. You really should take a look. Leah's suffering grows with each passing moment. Everyone suffers, but to do so for a cause greater than oneself, that is the mark of a true hero. My daughter is everything I hoped she would be. This stone is vibrating. I can barely hold it. Voices! They're screaming in my head! Leah is losing strength. Clearly, the stone wasn't built to contain six demon lords indefinitely. Only Leah's will holds it together. And then I must hurry. I wish we could do more for Leah. Maybe I could hold the stone together for a while. We both know Adria would not allow that. Come with me. Very well. I'm glad this is... Almost done. I don't... I don't think I have much time left. I would know if your time was near. It is not. Think of your future. The inn you want to build. No. You were right. There's no safe place for anyone. Look around us. If this keep can't protect us, what chance would a silly little inn have? in the refuge of your mind. So long as your thoughts are your own, you have a defense against fear. The demonic rage is building up again. But I can do this. I know I can. in the keep! They're coming up to the To arms! To arms! There is a disgusting, slobbering, fat oozing demon in your future. But there is always time for romance. You really should find someone. Why do you speak so? Trust me, you'll appreciate having a loved one to come home to when you're done saving the world. I see a foul darkness gathering around us. The forces of hell will soon overwhelm Leah. Will the Soul Stone shatter? No. You help Leah contain the energy within the stone. But the cost to her is high. Brand new goods here. Nicola, are you all right? Yes. The demon has... Can we go fight with you? Tell me of your past adventures. I was once lost in the dry steppes. Uh, they don't come by their name lightly. No water and the sun. An unbearable, unblinking eye. <sighs> in my delirium. I decided that it would be cooler without any clothes on. So I wandered for three days. My skin, ruby red, until I fell directly into a lucky oasis. Ah, to this day, 
I don't know if the stranded harem I found there was anything more than a wonderful and tremendously wicked hallucination. Uh, but who cares? I would ask if you're all right. Endless malice churning within hell. Agile and swift, the rippers cover ground quickly by latching onto prey with their enormous tongues and then leaping on top of their victims. From this point, the ripper cannot be deterred. It has begun to feast. you well, and that life at Bastion's Keep is not too difficult. Arthur is growing up to be just like his father. I'm happy to hear you'll be back in time for his birthday, and I'll be praying every night for your safe return.
fear the end. that you've come along. Our lads are fighting with blades held to hilts by bits of string. They need better weapons if we are going to survive. Watch my back while I work. Saved a lot of lives today. Thank you. Stop at nothing in order to seize this keep, and all the world with it. If one usually hears demonic tremors before seeing them, these behemoths move slowly and heavily, pounding the earth with their massive fists. Many a siege has been broken by the tremors' battering strikes, and many more enemies of the demons have been felled by their wrath. I pray. Our world will never see them again. I learned much from that. Fear the end. 
Sin, Lieutenant, and he possesses no less than four mouths. Though his voracious appetite is certainly his greatest weapon, his bile, and, well, other noxious excretions are equally lethal. When last seen in battle, the Lord of Glut... Empty victory over a useless tool. You have only delayed your inevitable destruction. Your walls have grown no stronger. Our assault continues unabated. The stone will still be mine. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory, so Tyriel went to investigate. He said if you were to return, I should send you there. What are you doing with your riches, Lyndon? Living a life of depravity and overindulgence, naturally. Please. Fine. Perhaps I have found that my treasure is put to better use elsewhere. That sounds suspicious. We all have debts to pay, friend. seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. To the battlefield, then. Can you feel the keep shuddering? Asmodan's siege weapons. Saving these walls will have meant nothing if they're reduced to rubble. Indeed. I'll defend them. We will not fail you, Seraph. How did the eternal conflict begin? Since time immemorial, the forces of heaven and hell fought for control of the sacred world stone. Until the day, it was stolen by renegades and used to forge your world. Since then, the forces of hell became more interested in corrupting mankind than in facing us on the field of battle. We are their new weapons. They knew that mankind would tip the balance of power forever. 
And very clearly, you have. How was our world created? To escape the eternal conflict, a group of renegade angels and demons came together and created a hidden paradise for themselves. They called this world Sanctuary. Eventually, they commingled. They gave birth to mankind. That is why you have both good and evil within you, and the power of both realms as your birthright. The power of your Nephilim ancestors was so terrifying to their parents that they tuned the world stone to weaken. They knew they had loosed something unimaginable upon creation. Our fight nears its end. This war will never end for me. Even if we defeat all evil forever, I will carry the scars of this nightmare till the end of my days. But you are reunited with your daughter. I wish Leah could have the life I never had. But in truth, I fear she'll be damned as well. And yet, I've never seen anyone who is as much a stranger to fear as you, Adria. I was going to die when I saw the demon's rage escape from the soul stone. Tyrael and my friend fought them, but I couldn't help. It was like I was watching them through a haze. What is the soul stone doing to me? Asmodan must die soon. Then I will be myself again. The man looks to you to lead them. When they see you laying waste to the demon hordes, they are heartened. As you go, so does this battle. Always remember that. Things are looking up, Margaret. There's barely anything left to kill. I knew you could do it. There are other soldiers about besides me, if you have a ghost. No. Why not? Because you want me to Oh dear. That's a very resolute expression you're wearing. You may as well uh, say what you're thinking. I know you are not what you appear to be. But we are in the midst of battle, and you are idle. So you cannot be a warrior. And why not? People can be anything they want, I say. The only limitation is time. And I've been alive for many years. Is that it? You do not age as the rest of us do. You become so serious about such things. You will grow old long before your time. Wouldn't you be happier to live like me? Uh, you're going out there? Yes. Uh, make sure you bundle up, huh? Uh, you should probably wear an extra layer or two. You can never be warm enough, I always say. Yet you wear the same thing wherever you go. Oh, yeah. well, it's quite simple. <laughs> I just tuck a few fire opals in my pockets and under my shirts, and I never get cold. As good as a pair of long underwear. I've got some new items you might need, friend.
You should give some thought to taking time for yourself, Cheldo. You can save the world tomorrow. Stay with us tonight. I'll buy drinks. We'll dance. I cannot. It is unseemly. I knew you'd say that. I really did. The keep is secure. Our fight continues in the battlefields, where Asmodan's war machines rain death on our soldiers. you're here. You've got to destroy those ballistics. They're raining hell down upon us. We can't last much longer. <laughs> Though I have searched every corner of the great library of Chaldeum, I can find no references to the true fate of the blood clan Khazra. Some crumbling papers hint that they made a pact to serve the mythical lesser evils. But surely such a thing cannot be considered proper scholarship. Can it? If you insist. Be swift. Oh, no. 
ago, the heralds of pestilence were lesser demons who rebelled against Asmodan. The Lord of Sin vanquished them easily, but instead of slaying them, he granted each one a long arm, infested with a poison that could kill anything but Asmodan himself. The heralds have been plague-riddled menaces ever since.
They've been circling for hours. been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. Destroying my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon, they will wipe your pathetic keep from existence. Brave words, Asmodan. But words are all you have left to her. Forward, friend. Now we shall drive Asmodan's army back into the accursed crater. Together, we can defeat them. We honor us, Seraph. Be gone from this world. I'm just a scout. I was supposed to survey the battlefield from this tower along with my lieutenant. But we were attacked. I still have the spyglass here. Please, take it to my lieutenant. I don't know how long you'll be able to hold out up there. for the news. I will tell his family.
A lovely piece. Uh, I wish I still possessed my old strength. These demons would flee from us, as vermin flee from a cleansing flood. You are no hindrance, Tyrael. Do not regret your choice. I do not. So long as I may stand and fight, I have chosen. <laughs> with a succubus, a demonic creature that possesses the form and face of a beautiful woman. He said she cursed him and tore out the heart of his friend before he made a narrow escape. Really, young men are given to such exaggeration these days. could turn any battle in its favor. I wish I knew more, but alas, all who have seen it have perished. I come with urgent news. Leah has had another vision, a vision of twisted demonic towers and enormous hearts beating within them. I know of them. They are the Sin Hearts. Asmodan must have dredged them up from the depths of his realm to empower his legion. Not for long. I am close to Asmodan, and his desperation is clear. Whatever vile contraptions he uses to aid his army will not be enough to protect him from me. Divided attention. Another demon. She will die like the rest of them.
not the Earth's end. Modan granted them great power, allowing the beasts to shift in and out of sight at will. It is believed that the Lord of Spirit for the eternal I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Sedea, maiden of Red, consort of Asper. Mm, how invigorating. Play with my daughters. I do not wish to tire you out. I can feel the blood hemorrhaging from a sin heart. You will pay for this. So close now. 
so close. yourself then maybe you'll discuss the jewel with me oh all you wish to hear is my most guarded secret uh -huh. well certainly if you cannot be trusted then the world is in trouble
The jewel contains a powerful creature named Durgis. He was trapped within it for terrible crimes against his people. He sounds like a demon. Oh no. He was like us. Only terribly corrupt. I had to trap him. Now a flaw has developed in the jewel. Through it, Durgis can consume the holder's life. I intend to seal this prison, trapping him in it forever. You are so close now. Only Asmadan is still out there. I'm waiting for you. Uh, what do you suppose you'll do after he is dead? I do not enjoy conjecture. Oh, you're too modest. I saw how easily you took care of Belial, uh, and you've already beaten Asmadan's army. How much more trouble could he be? Let me tell you what I think. After Asmadan is dead, you come with me, huh? And we'll go on a grand adventure. Just you and Shen. The wind at our backs, and the road stretching out before us. The priests of Rathma would not indulge your whims the way I do, old man. Thanks to that hero. If ever there was a time to run, this would be it. But where would I run to? Maybe it is better to stay and fight for your life when the time comes. Only you can decide that. The Black Soul Stone. Holding six prime evils in one container. That seems like a bad idea to me. We have no other choice. It's a miracle Leo wasn't corrupted by the dark energies within it, don't you think? Ten days ago, I had an extremely powerful vision of a dark future. Horrible, horrible things will happen to you before this is all over, but you will prevail. How? I would never burden you with the knowledge of things you can't change. You need to be happy. Enjoy yourself while you can. How do you feel? Nervous? You ought to know me better than that. How are you, Hadrig? I feel a sense of calm. I know you can do it. I have no fear. The things I have crafted will not fail you. Have you found the tomes? You're going down into the crater itself. Tyrion, examine this page. Tell me what you see. These are plans for angelic weapons that will fit human hands. Where did you find this? This is a page torn from the sacred tomes of my blessed order. The light only knows what the others contain. I see. It implies that my brethren seek to destroy this world, and that your order was created to stop them. Is it true? It was. Once. Not anymore. What shall you do with this knowledge, Cormac? There is much difference between what I want and what I must do. Together, you and I will finish our work here. I owe you that. But I tell you this. My faith is stronger than this betrayal. When we are done, I will return home and plunge my spear into the ground before the Vault of the Order. I will meet their champions until they answer for their sins and their lies. I will have justice. Have you found the tomes yet? No. I've learned something much more troubling. Judging by the borders, this is indeed a page from the tomes. But it does not contain prophecies. It seems to be a set of instructions for the creation of magical weapons. But that is not the strangest part. I have seen the rune here before. On the braces of Tyriel's armor. Curious. You should ask him about it. I keep thinking of the traitor, John Dar. He had turned to evil, I have no doubt. 
But I wonder, would he have fallen as easily if the Order had not betrayed him? I knew he was trouble, but I said nothing. I saw his doubts, his weakness, and when he submitted to Magda, I thought my suspicions were confirmed. Perhaps... Perhaps I could have saved him before it was too late. The dead are beyond our aid. You are right. And still, I wonder if I could have said something, done something, and changed his mind. Did your brother know your history with his wife? No. She didn't take the time to tell him before waltzing off to the altar. Now their children would starve if not for the gold I send their way. Aren't you the reason he was imprisoned? He will be free again in time. Paying off the Merchant's Guild of Kingsport is no small task. And aren't you supposed to be on my side here? I can't believe that we're still alive. This place was built to fight barbarians. That's horrible. I need to go back. who is truly cursed within this tower. The demons? Chains tear at their flesh. Hear their screams. Such sweet words.
Looking forward to this. You will fake me. You will not make me bow to the likes of you. Dan is close to all of his lieutenants. Sedea is his special favorite. The Maiden of Lust is both beautiful and grotesque in appearance, with the torso of a woman and the legs of a spider. Her voice is said to be as smooth as honey, but she only speaks words of death. Asmodan's evil thrives. in me. Now, Leah, trap Asmodan's essence within the Soul Stone. It's done. I never dared dream. All evil lies trapped within that stone. Once it is destroyed, the eternal conflict will finally end. Destroying the stone is no simple matter. 
There are rituals to consider. We must return to the keep and make our final preparations. I am returning to town. An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Leah, and Tyrael? They are all in the armory, no doubt celebrating. You should join them. Demon Lord is dead. A caravan made it through with some new goods. You interested? Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. <laughs> Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. Now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the Prime Evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens.
shall shine in heaven, Imperius. For soon, nothing of it shall be.